on, Abby. We're going outside. Welcome to the show today. And the show title today is... I think it's going to be either Life Isn't Fair or... Come on, Abby. We're selling the camper. Okay, Abby, let's go. Hey, what you doing? She's wondering where you are. We're on the show, allowed to talk. And I'm allowed to talk, so... You can't go with Abby. You have to stay in the gate. Right. Did I just spin around and make everybody dizzy? Probably. Sorry. This is the camper. And we're going to take it to a place to sell it. This place is close by, like five miles away from here in Prattville. And they are Prattville, Alabama, y'all. And they are going to put it out in their lot where they have a different brand of campers. I know we paid 26000 for this in 2022, with all the tax and all that. They're going to list it for, I think, $13,995, because they have a different brand there. And theirs are brand new, and ours, our retail value is fourteen nine dollars for this, in great shape, in excellent shape. But they're going to list it at thirteen like they're brand new ones, but I'm thinking it's going to sell fast, hopefully, but we haven't had any buyers from marketplace because as you all know there is a lot of things going on right now where people can't afford to you know take out a loan or whatever so these people that are listing it and it's not camping world because they wanted to give us ten thousand then they'd ask fourteen nine for it whatever something like that we love Camping World, but it's like an hour and somewhat up the road towards Birmingham. So we're going to go with this place in town. And it, it hurts to sell it, but it's for the best. And uh, we can't take our German Shepherd to most of the places in Florida, the private places. So we're taking it over there and seeing if we can sell it at that business place that sells campers and RVs. We still have the 2020 Kia. If you have been with me since the beginning of my videos, we've had this Kia now two years. We got over 100,000 miles on it. We bought it used in 2022 with, uh, I don't know, maybe 70,000 on it. And now it's over 100. And the back of it, remember we got rear-ended, but it's in good shape. I think it looks better than it did before, so I don't know why cars that are wrecked seem to go for less. And Abby's barking because she can't see me. Abby Gail, what's up? I'm coming back. <laughs> I tried to do that Johnny Cash thing with her and lift her up. She didn't like it. You know, that song, Johnny Cash sings about Robin. Stick him up here on a Robin this place. Blah, 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 blah. And they lift their dogs up. Well, Abby wasn't having that. I'm not being lifted up. You're not going to use me like an automatic weapon to rob a place. What? Yes, he's used that brush on the camper, and it looks, it looks brand new. If someone doesn't buy it, they're fools. There's Annabelle Ski. <laughs> Psycho dog! You bite my dog! I bite you! Yeah, that's right. Just sniff each other. That's what you do. Yeah, okay. So, sell on the camper. And what I mean by life isn't fair is that you pay a lot of money for campers and then drive them off the lot. And then things change. People aren't as thrilled with camping or whatever. Then you can't get what you even close to what you should get. I'm, we're not going to get 14.9. We're lucky if we get 13.9. And then the place, I didn't say this, the place that's, come here, Abby. Come here, girl. He's so pretty. The place that's doing it, and they're great. They're wonderful. I talked to them on the phone. We're taking it over at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. They get 10%. So if it sells for 13,000, they get 1,300. And if the lowest we're going is 12000 That would give them 1200 But if you would take your camper there and it's only worth like $800, their lowest, they want 1000 to put it on their lot, which I agree with that. 
But we're hoping to get 10,000 at least. <sighs> well, more than 10,000. 12,000 is the lowest. <coughs> 1,200 would give us 10,800 left for other things in our life because we can't take our baby girl camping with us. That's our three year old German Shepherd, Abby Gale. We love her so much. Yeah, I tried to do that stick em up thing. Let's try it. Oh, with the camera in my hand yet. Stick em up, everybody. We're robbing this place. <laughs> No, you're not going to participate in that. You're not going to do it. No, you're not. I know. You're like, you ain't lifting me up. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Do you like lemons? Because you're so bitter. Are you from Great Britain or are you from the U.S.? No, you're a German shepherd. You're a wiener schnitzel. Yeah, that's true. So life isn't fair. Just like a house, if you buy a house, like say for 200000 and you put 80000 into it, fix it up, you can sell for three twenty, because you put 80000 that brings the value up and a house stays. But you buy a trailer and it's, it's sort of falling down even if you fix it up. Nobody wants to, like a mobile home or a double wide or whatever they're called, even if you make them real nice. Because they're modulars or mobiles or trailers. Right, Abby? Trailers. Trailer for sale or rent. That's the rest of that song. Means by no means. I'm king of the road. So, yeah. Then you don't get hardly what you paid for a trailer, for a camper, um, all that. You know? And then other things like... I was saying the other day, heirlooms or antiques. It's just because it's old. It's from 1901, so it's worth more money. That's really crazy. So, I just hope you're having a wonderful day. Like Abby is, right? I sang a bunch of songs from The Sound of Music today. Keep dancing, singing, making music, and having fun.